Welcome back to ICT Trading Concept. How are you all? It's time to wake up. Don't sleep, guys. If you are trading, I mean, trading any market and you really would like to learn how to trade, you have to understand the narrative. So that's why I have decided to make this, I mean, the five days narrative one by one. If you didn't watch the previous day's narrative, I mean, the Monday's narrative, this is Tuesday's narrative. To, I mean, I will talk about the Tuesday's narrative in this video. If you didn't watch the Monday's narrative, just pause the video. I will put the link to my description. So you please go over there and watch the Monday's accumulation narrative. Okay. After that, please come back over here. Otherwise, you will be confused. Okay. So today's, uh, I'm going to describe about the Tuesday's narrative. This is the drawing things. I'm not good at drawing, but you can see this is the Monday's high and this leg. Okay. This upper leg is the manipulation. We expect this leg in Tuesday most of the time and Tuesday actually make the highest high or the lowest low. If your weekly bias is bearish, you will expect higher manipulation. I mean this thing. If your ex uh, I mean the weekly bias is uh, bullish, then you will see the lower manipulation. Okay. And this is vice versa. I am going to give you the higher example. You will say you will think about the lower example. Okay. So it's vice versa. So this is the manipulation and in Tuesday, we really would like to see this manipulation. It will take the Monday's high or the highs above Monday's high. If there is any equal highs or any clean buy side liquidity, okay, then we will expect in Tuesday, it will take all of that buy side liquidity if our bias is bearish. Same here. If our bias, bias is bullish, I mean the weekly bias is bullish, then in Tuesday, we will expect it will clean the Monday's low, at least Monday's low, okay. And if there is any equal loss below the Monday's low, then it will clean them as well. So this leg or this leg that should be in Tuesday's manipulation. Let's go to the chart. So from the chart, this is 15 minute chart in Nasdaq. You can see this is the equal highs. I have just marked it as relatively equal highs plus buy side liquidity. And this is Monday's high, okay? And this is Tuesday's price action, this is Monday's price action, and this is the Friday's price action. You can see in Tuesday price actually first take it has taken the Monday's high and then later it has it went back again to take the equal highs. So this is the four. I mean at four, our session has closed at four. This is the last candle. I am using the reply mode. I don't need the I mean further information. So I kept the market until four. Now, when you have already decided and you already know that market will, I mean, it will do the manipulation thing in Tuesday, it will be easier for you to understand where price is going actually. Okay. Let me go to the one minute first. Uh, I think I should show you the, uh, the example or something so that you guys can understand the thing. Okay. So this is 930. This is 9.30 candle. We don't have any trade before 9.30. Why? Because I really trade the new work session. I don't trade London. But if you would like to trade London, uh, that is different thing. I don't want to talk about London session. I really would like to describe the, the I mean, the new work session. Okay. So new work session, our trading will start at 9.30. After 9.30, not at 9.30 because it is volatility at 9.30. So after 9.30, we will expect our uh trading entry okay look over here this is monday side what do we know about monday i mean the about the tuesday we know the narrative we know market will go higher so at first it went higher was there any setup in my opinion there was no setup because you can see it has taken the sell side liquidity over there and we also don't take entry at 9 30 so it has taken the sell side liquidity maybe it has actually given you market structure. just for example okay give you the market structure shift but there was no farewell gap. You see, there is no farewell gap. So that setup is actually not valid. When it is going higher, we have nothing to do. But we will wait. If it can take the Monday's high, then we will expect some other price action. But until Monday's high is not taken, our narrative is telling us market will go higher. This is manipulation day, okay? You won't look for sell until this Monday's high is taken. So price actually went higher. And after coming here in this area failed to take Monday side it go back again to the low it has taken the sell side liquidity again 
after take, taking this sell side liquidity it went higher again it was consolidating over there and lastly it came here and it went above and take the monday's high why this was the price action that was uh, in that tuesday we had the news because of the news we saw this i um, mean the sloppiness over here i didn't had any entry over there i mean depending on the 22 it model or any other strategy i really didn't have any uh, entry over there but if you know the price is going higher you won't be take your sell over there you can't you you won't mark that this has your buy sell liquidity taken just let me show okay because this is the way you will avoid the losing entry you have to know the narrative if you don't know the narrative oh man it's disaster okay so i think i'll just mark uh, something randomly okay this is your market structure ship you you will you will never think about how to uh which way price will go okay so this is the market structure shift but that is actually not market structure shift i am just showing this one as market structure shift to okay uh, just let me mark the real one so this is the real market structure shift okay if you are confused about the market structure shift please watch the video i will put the link in my description as well was that video if you can understand the real market structure shift you can avoid so many losing trade okay so if it you will never take this entry i mean no short over there okay if you would like to take this entry your stop loss has to be there and you have to take some kind of lower run but you can see price actually didn't go lower why it didn't go lower why it went higher why this setup is not valid the reason is we know this is tuesday and our weekly bias is bearish market will go high and take the buy side liquidity cause that is called manipulation okay so that's that's how you will avoid the losing entry and you will know beforehand where price is going actually and that is why narrative is most more important i have already made a direction video as well it's called near like zero to hero something so you can watch that video and you will understand what you need i mean the full guidelines okay what you need actually so you will get that from there other days when you will see some clear price action i mean when it taken this buy side sell side liquidity and give you the nice market structure shift if you would see any kind of fair value gap over there you were i mean you could take the entry over there okay that is very i mean you know the direction how do you know the direction because twist is man, um, manipulation day and you know it will take the monday side so when it has taken the monday side i actually prefer this entry when it has taken this monday side price will go below it will take the equal highs remember this is the relatively equal highs and the buy side liquidity it will take that but later obviously it will do that always you will see when it has taken the monday's high or monday's low it will give you some opposite direction 95 percent of the time you will get this so that was actually my entry over there it has taken the buy side liquidity from monday's high and also from here it has taken the buy side liquidity and then gave me the very nice market structure shift over here this is my market structure shift just let me mark okay market structure shift and this is my fair value gap uh, just let me mark it. so this is my fair value gap and there is the breakaway gap above there but i really don't want to show you perfectly this is the breakaway gap i am teaching all of this to my life so you are always welcome to join my life and i can make sure that you will be benefited from there okay so that will be your entry to this i mean to this opening of this fair value gap your stop loss will be above the breakaway gap but i will I, I would recommend to put it in above this high okay because that high has made the breakaway gap i can put it over there where is my target i did it live this is not hindsight so if you are with me in my what to say the twitter you already know that i took this entry so that should be your target okay so you can see it has actually very nice i mean one is two near about three risk reward ratio if you are fan of that then that is your entry and you have to take some partial below this equal loss okay i mean any kind of partial you have to take it so if it would like to go reverse and hit you you will you won't be hurt so that is the that is the power of narrative if you know where market is going you can easily fix your frame your trade 
Trust me, brother. If you don't know the narrative, you know nothing about trading. You are just wasting your time. If you don't believe me, you will never be a consistent profitable trader. Never ever. You can write it down to your notebook. I am telling you, I am guarantee. I'm I'm just giving you the guarantee. You will never be a profitable trader. <clears throat> Sorry. So that is the power of narrative. So if you didn't watch the Monday's narrative, please watch that one. Then come back again to the Tuesday's narrative, and next day I will post the Wednesday's narrative. And this way I will post five videos in five days narrative. Trust me, if you really understand the narrative, trading is just like drinking water. It's time to wake up, brother. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please share my content so that new people can know about me and about my working over here, whatever I'm doing here. I hope uh, that would be better for me and for them as well. Okay, so do some kind of social work. <laughs> and if you have any confusion or doubt, please comment. Uh, I mean, write it down to the comment box. I always try to give you the reply. So I will never actually skip your comment. I will give you the reply. Uh, you can trust me. So that's all for today. I hope we will talk later in the next video. Best of luck, guys. Bye-bye.